ladies and gentlemen uh i offer my greetings to all of you uh for your continued uh, excellence in medical care in your local communities uh from what i know of you uh, all of you practice uh, high quality medicine and render superb medical care to the patients and their attendants in your uh, practices in your clinic and also in the communities where you serve uh, i am uh, giving a brief uh, narrative on the eve of the world hypertension day 2022 as some of you are aware world hypertension day is uh, remembered every year usually on may 17th to increase the awareness about high blood pressure and its treatment so the world hypertension day has been designated mainly to awaken the consciousness of uh, the doctors medical profession patients and the community in general about the importance of uh, high blood pressure this year's uh, theme for the world hypertension day is measure your blood pressure accurately control it and live longer very good theme for this year basically it means that if you have high blood pressure you control it and you can live long period of time there are many studies which have suggested that people who have normal blood pressure tend to live for a longer duration of their life than people who have high blood pressure which is not controlled there is absolutely no doubt that normal blood pressure prolongs life and high blood pressure shortens life and you lead a healthy life if you control the blood pressure i want to remind all of you to emphasize this not only to your family members but to all of your patients and their relatives that normal blood pressure is conducive to a long life high blood pressure shortens your life span absolutely true there is no doubt about it because high blood pressure is an important harbinger for stroke heart disease kidney disease etc and you can prevent all these complications by controlling the blood pressure therefore ladies and gentlemen please follow the theme and philosophy for this year's world hypertension day namely measure your blood pressure accurately control it and live longer what do i mean by control it that new goal for blood pressure treatment is less than 130 by 80 the older goal used to be 140 by 90 but please forget about 140 by 90 because 140 by 90 is high blood pressure not normal blood pressure normal blood pressure according to all guidelines now global and regional guidelines all of them suggest a blood pressure of less than 130 by 80 so ladies and gentlemen you must control the blood pressure to less than 130 by 80 either by lifestyle changes or by pharmacological treatment or a combination of lifestyle and pharmacological approaches so you control it to less than 130 by 80 now let me tell you very briefly the pharmacological options that are given by various guidelines all guidelines recommend if possible to start the patient on combination therapy so instead of monotherapy please try to start your patients on combination drug therapy to control the blood pressure what are the drugs that are recommended by all the guidelines uh, diuretics Uh, are recommended by all the guidelines beta blockers are not recommended for the initial treatment by american guidelines but they are uh, they are endorsed by european guidelines 
and uh, World Health Organization guidelines and International Society of Hypertension guidelines. So there is some uh, hesitation about beta blockers for initial treatment of hypertension, especially among the American guidelines. Diuretics are recommended by all guidelines for the initial uh, therapy of hypertension, either as monotherapy or in combination. Similarly, calcium channel blocking drugs and uh, RAS blockers are recommended by all the guidelines, either as initial therapy or by combination therapy. Among the diuretics, uh, most of the guidelines, in fact, almost all the uh, guidelines try to differentiate between uh, simple thiazide diuretics and thiazide-like diuretics such as chlorthalidone uh, based upon scientific evidence and based upon the outcome trials uh, all the guidelines, global, regional, and World Health Organization guidelines do suggest that chlorthalidone is a preferred diuretic over other types of diuretics to reduce complications from hypertension. So there is now uniform recommendation uh, to differentiate between various diuretics uh, due to the outcome trials and due to the evidence these days uh, all the guidelines in which uh, I participated and I read uh, do prefer chlorthalidone over other types of thiazide diuretics uh, based upon scientific evidence. Uh, but beta blockers, there is some controversy. But among the beta blockers, uh, older beta blockers, probably metoprolol is widely recommended and used for the treatment of hypertension and for prevention of cardiovascular complications uh, and the beta blockers do have a place, especially in patients who have coronary artery disease. Uh, calcium channel blocking drugs, uh, older and new generation calcium blocking drugs, there is a renewed interest, especially in India, about applying new generation calcium blocking drugs to lower the blood pressure because the new generation calcium blocking drugs uh, reduce the blood pressure very, very nicely but they also provide freedom from side effects. So I am also a, an advocate of uh, opting for new generation uh, calcium blocking drugs in the choice of treatment for hypertension. Among uh, a RAS blockers, uh, angiotensin receptor blockers are superior to ACE inhibitors to reduce the blood pressure. For antihypertensive effects, one would uh, prefer an angiotensin receptor blocker over an ACE inhibitor. And this appears to be based upon evidence, based upon the results. Among the angiotensin receptor blocking drugs that are available, uh, there are new generation ERBs and old generation ERBs. Despite uh, the new generation of ERBs that are available, uh, tell me Sartan belonging to an older uh, generation is still very prominent among ARBs because there's a lot of evidence that telmisartan based therapy uh, reduces the blood pressure effectively and prevents a, a variety of cardiovascular complications. Of course, the new generation ARBs are also quite effective, but we don't have uh, as many outcome studies that we have with telmisartan. Uh, uh, therefore, uh, tel Telmisartan continues to be a leader among the ARB choices for the treatment of hypertension in various countries, including India. So, ladies and gentlemen, in a short time that uh, we have, I have given you the theme of this year's World Hypertension League, World Hypertension Day, namely measure your blood pressure accurately. And I also talked about controlling it with lifestyle changes and with pharmacological treatment to your blood pressure less than 130 by 80. And I talked very briefly about the therapeutic options we have either as monotherapy or as combination therapy to reduce the blood pressure quite effectively in your practices so that you prolong the lives of your patients and their families by reducing the blood pressure 
to the recommended goals with optimal utilization of combination therapy that is so widely and easily available in clinical practice. So ladies and gentlemen, let us work together, work harder, uh, as hard as we can to diagnose the hypertension early, to treat it effectively, to control it, so that we have uh, citizens of India living for a longer period of time and be healthy and uh, happy, productive citizens of our great country. All the best to you and uh, to your continued excellence in clinical practice. Thank you.